ಸಕಲೇಶ್ಪುರ ನಾವು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಎಂದುವರೆನು ಸುಗಲ್ಲೇ ಕೊರೆ ನಾಳೆ ಕಂಡಿಟ್ಟ so this is one day before our trip and i'm packing everything that we need to carry i am determined that i'm going to have a good time and not be drooling if i need to eat something so i've kind of carried everything that i would need and as usual chris has his hands on his hips and he's wondering for how many days we are actually going so i've decided to take these cookies just in case i feel like having something sweet as you can see it's got no sugar yeah it's a holiday 3 days I'm not going to overdo it. Let's see how it works out. And of course, I'm carrying some nuts. I'll be carrying cheese, butter. I mean, how can I be without my coffee in the morning? That's really non-negotiable. I'm carrying the coconut cream for my coffee, coffee powder. I don't normally have rotis because I'm trying very hard to even cut down on the nut flours as much as possible. but it's a holiday and i do want to have something nice so i'm carrying the coconut flour flax meal that i've ground at home and the psyllium husk oh and this is what really made my husband laugh i'm even carrying a tumbler and a vessel because just in case i need to kind of make my own coffee we are entering sakleshpura and you can immediately notice the difference in the climate it's already cooler compared to bangalore sakleshpur is a small town located in the western ghats it's in the malna region of karnataka the place is rich in coffee pepper cardamom and areca nut all across there are plantations and of course the forest we reached the falling waters resorts in sakleshpur Yep and now we're just going to check in. That's Chris checking the front door. That was our room. It's the only one with an AC in the resort. And as you will see there was no TV, there was no Wi-Fi even. So it was a real digital detox for us. Falling Waters is located within a 24 acre coffee estate. And I think by hearing this sound you know why it's called Falling Waters. So this is Manjunath the manager of Falling Water. Hi Manjunath. Hello ma'am. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, so what all are we having for lunch today? We have a savi dish. Okay. So local authentic style savi is there. Okay. And along with that uh coconut milk. Okay. Coconut stew? Yeah. Okay. Then uh we have a gobi manchurian. Hmm. Uh, uh dry uh, manchurian dry is there and mixed veg curry. Okay. ಪಾಪಡ್ ಇಸ್ and in non veg we have a uh, uh, chicken fry okay chicken fry mm. is a local style chicken fry and malnad style chicken curry okay okay all right that's very nice yes i will i will i will what all is there in the stew manjuna uh sir uh coconut mm. and jaggery mm. and elaichi Elijah jaggery is there yeah, green cardamom okay okay so for lunch i had the chicken fry i had a few pieces of the chicken curry and a good amount of salad i would have had the coconut stew if there was no jaggery in it oh by the way there was also some pie some which obviously i could not have chicken was totally yum so this has been my exercise for the day walking along the resort and they have a walkway which is kind of uphill which leads to a buddha statue and it's so peaceful here if you can hear all the birds
It reminds you of all the babbling brook poems you must have learnt in school, doesn't it? So that's what I've been doing, just sitting here, listening to all the birds chirping, enjoying the peace. So I've decided to go for a walk after dinner. Feeling a little stuffed though, I've really not eaten anything that is not part of my low carb diet. It's still a beautiful place to walk so I don't mind it. So this is the sound that we're going to hear right through the night and our room is just above this babbling brook. And now the plan is to go for a trek across the coffee estates. Let's see if I can keep up with them. So Abdullah, my trusted friend is coming with me on this trek. He's coming to make sure that I'm safe. Where is this Pratap? 24. This is full coffee, na? Yavak baro the chana girote. January, February, na season, na? Season. Okay. Jasti chana iruta at time ali. Malay iruta. Medium. But itara naat kono hoga kaguta. Hoga kagute. Jaralva. Ah, niwe kar kono hoti rala safe agi. As you can see, Abdullah is waiting for me to catch up. ಇದು <laughs> <laughs> And in the middle of all of this, we see the garbage dumping. It's so sad what we do to the environment. And then comes the reality of coming back into town. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is on our route back to the resort and you can see I've slowed down a bit but yeah I'm so happy I did this. And I must admit that if I had done this in 2019, there's no way I could have completed this. It's just been about 40 minutes, but it's been, it's been tiring. The thing is that I completed it. And I completed it without too much of a hassle and not requiring too much of help. Abdullah, of course, was very careful with me, seeing to it that he held my hand wherever there was a steep thing to climb. But otherwise, I've survived. Where is it? Sitting on the no, yeah, see. sitting on that by the by us. Where? See there. Now it's on our steps. See there. On the steps. Oh there. yeah. <laughs> and it's making all that whistling sound. Oh, it's there, 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 there. Now it's come down here. See that this one. There. 
Now it stopped whistling though. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and we're going out now. So our vehicles come and off we go. We're going to this place called Devarbette Vasali. We're just in the middle of the clouds. Huh? Devarbette means hill of the gods. It's about 2,500 feet above sea level. And the place where we are standing is just enough to park a jeep and for it to turn around when we are returning. It was a very rugged ride to get there, especially for people like me who have motion sickness. I was quite shaken up with the ride. But once I got there, of course, it was all well worth it. And now it's time for us to say goodbye to Falling Waters and Sakleshpura. We've had a wonderful time. So see you back in Bangalore soon. Mm -hmm.